Hello everyone, thanks for watching my second painting video here on my channel. As you may have already guessed, I will be doing a series of paintings for Game of Thrones characters, and I'll kick that off by painting the one and only Queen Cersei Lannister. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I really think she'll be the one of the characters who will still be alive by the end of the show. She's one of the most powerful characters in the series, and I honestly think that she deserves to be the ruler of Seven Kingdoms. So please don't get me wrong on that, this is just my opinion, and I know we've got a lot of candidates for the throne. I also haven't read the books yet, so pretty much the basis of my opinion is on the show's storyline. Now, back on the painting. I actually did an experiment for this one since I didn't do any initial sketches on the canvas before I applied my first layer. I basically just went with it and see where it goes. It's not a realistic painting and it still embodies the style that I use for my illustrations which is more on the cartoonish side. For this painting, I'll be using a lot of yellow ochre and burnt sienna. On the first layer, for the skin tone, I mix yellow ochre and burnt sienna with titanium white and a bit of vermilion for the reddish or pinkish areas of the skin. I also added a tiny amount of yellow orange for her Lannister lion complexion. And for her hair, same basic colors, yellow ochre, burnt sienna with titanium white. And for her crown, I used 10% titanium white and 90% burnt sienna for the mixture. The dress is based on her black outfit and shoulder steel pads. I don't know what it's called. It's uh, from the time she got crowned as queen back in season 6. I basically hesitated to go forward with the shoulder area because the details would require too much of my time. So I left it as it is on the first layer to be decided later on. For the background, of course, we're all familiar with it. I'm referencing it from her weapon of destruction, which is wildfire. Danny has her dragons, Jon Snow has ghosts, Cersei has her mountain, and wildfire. Though I want her to stay alive till the end of the show, but I'm also excited to see her have a taste of her own medicine. Wouldn't it be cool if she'll die by wildfire? I know there's a lot of theories revolving around her being strangled to death by her brother or whatnot, but I kinda like the idea of her being eradicated by her own weapon. For the wildfire color, I used Viridian, Emerald Green, and Fluorescent Yellow to give that glow-in-the-dark value, and of course, Titanium White and Burnt Sienna for the darker areas. For the shoulder area of the outfit, I decided to go with her style on the trailer for Season 7's Episode 7. For the final touches, I glazed the wildfire acrylic mix to her head, face, and some parts of the outfit to have that wildfire glow all over her. Mm -hmm. 
And that's it for this week's painting. I hope you loved it. If so, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below which Game of Thrones character should I draw next or paint next. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification symbol to be updated once I upload the next painting time lapse. I might not be able to keep my word on posting weekly painting time lapses, but I'll definitely try to post at least two videos per month. For illustration commissions, any other projects or inquiries, I've got my links down below, feel free to check them out. And I guess that's it for now, thanks so much for watching, see you on my next video, bye.